Dr. Rita Kalyani is no stranger to the ADA, having served in some capacity over the last 20 years, but now her commitment to advancing scientific research is paramount as she serves as the ADA's incoming Chief Scientific and Medical Officer. It's our pleasure to have you with us today. Uh, thanks for having me. First, congratulations on this incoming appointment. Thank you. What can you tell us about some of the key initiatives of the Science and Healthcare Division at the ADA? The Science and Healthcare Division at the American Diabetes Association oversees so many programs related to, to science and healthcare. Probably the biggest one that we're talking about here today is the annual scientific sessions. And we are thrilled to have close to 12,000 people every year. And so overseeing the planning process for this meeting, as you might imagine, is, is a full-time effort and our team does a fantastic job. The second is our research funding. So every year the ADA gives out many research grants to investigators from all around the world. These include postdoctoral fellows, early faculty investigators, even senior investigators that are trying research in a different area. And we really pride ourselves on being able to support cutting edge research and to build the pipeline of researchers that are going to be our generation tomorrow. The other major initiative that we do is the ADA standards of care. Those are our clinical practice guidelines. They're used as a central resource uh, around the world. They're updated annually, and they're based on the latest studies and evidence in diabetes and designed to really guide clinicians on how to manage diabetes in practice based on the latest evidence. There's also other programs that the Science and Healthcare Division does, uh, diabetes prevention. We have a, uh, an agreement with multiple states in the United States where we're implementing diabetes prevention programs. We do the clinical update conference in February, which is more a case-based conference. And then we also do professional education programs aside from the scientific sessions. The Institute of Learning is fantastic. Uh, really encourage everyone to check that out online. And it has a suite of online courses where um, anyone from a generalist to a specialist can learn about how to manage diabetes and the latest guidelines. With, uh, with you know, all of your years of service and, and research and work, you bring a vast wealth of scientific knowledge to this incoming position. When you are starting to put together the scientific program for the scientific sessions, what does your committee look for? We have an excellent committee that spends hours thinking about, you know, what is the recent science that has come out? Where are the areas that we really need to highlight in our program? And there's, I think, two dozen tracks now that we have at the ADA Scientific Sessions. So we're really looking at what is the cutting edge science in the past year? Um, what are the topics that where we can have a really great debate? And those are always fun when we have someone talking on both sides. Yes. And uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> and those always make you think. You you think you might have your own opinion and then you hear the other side and you realize that they're, they're actually different ways of approaching um, uh, situations. So we, we go through a lot of different considerations, but I think really it's focusing on the best science, the cutting edge science, um, really ensuring that we think about the comprehensive care of the person with diabetes. Innovation is a big theme this year, you know, ensuring that uh, we're looking at innovation in diabetes, um, you know, primary care, obesity. Really, uh, every year we grow and grow in what we offer, and it's really a sign of the changing evidence and the changing times. What do you hope that attendees will take away from their time at this meeting? You know, one of the best parts about going to a meeting is the people that you meet. And so uh, as much as the scientific sessions and the you know, the symposiums and the abstracts are all, you know, ways that people can learn more about what's going on with the science. Hand in hand with that is being able to network with colleagues, to learn from each other, to develop that diabetes community, and to really get energized about what we can do together to move the needle for diabetes in the future. Well, thank you so much for your time today and best of luck to your new incoming position. Thanks so much, Josh. I appreciate it.